top at the moment, Japan in second place, but you can see goal difference could be quite significant. Costa Rica also on uh, three points, but they've minus six goal difference at the moment, which really will go against them, you feel, in the, the long term in this group. Germany yet to get off the mark, but again, it places huge significance on that game this evening, doesn't it, Anya? I mean, we thought that Japan were firm favourites to go and take three points, go top of the table with six points, and then it was a really uh, difficult situation for Germany this evening, but that result is pretty much in Germany's favour. Yeah, the pressure's off Germany now. Mm. Obviously, three teams on, on three points, and if Germany go on to win later, uh, it'll be three points, so the goal difference, like you said, um, and obviously uh, Spain are really leading the way in, in that regard. Um, regards the game, I think Japan didn't do enough to win it. A lot of no. credit to Costa Rica, I think, and then their defensive shape and how they set up and the, the changes they made um, from, obviously, the hammering against Spain. So Japan just lacked, I think Kenny will agree, lacked urgency, um, forward passing. Yeah. They went sideways a lot. It was quite frustrating, I think, to watch at times. And um, maybe all the changes came back to, to bite them. It's a, it's a funny old game, Kenny, isn't it? You know, Japan go out and they beat oh. Germany 2-1. Costa Rica are beaten 7-0 by Spain. And Costa Rica turn over Japan. Yeah. It's really surprising. You really feel it's the Germans who are the winners uh, this morning. They must be doing the Kong around their breakfast buffet at the, ho at the hotel this morning, watching that game. It's really un unbelievable. Never saw it coming. No. Uh, give Costa Rica a huge amount of credit, picking themselves up uh, off the floor. I mentioned it before. We've, we've all suffered that uh, as players, defenders in particular. Big, heavy defeats. It really hurts, kind of hurts your pride and you want to bounce back, and they couldn't have done any better. Bounce back with a clean sheet, but also uh, such an important win. And um, yeah, I was really pleased for the Costa Rican players and the defenders in uh, particular who really suffered the other day at the hands of that Spanish uh, forward line. Huge blow for Japan because they finished their group campaign against Spain. And you can just imagine if Spain continued the form we sh they, they showed in, in their first match, that you can just imagine Spain picking them apart. Yeah, it's going to be a tough for them, obviously, after the high of beating Germany and the nature of the way they beat Germany as well. Just they couldn't get their quality of play back no. up today against Costa Rica. And whether they took the game for granted or not, I'm not sure, but they just really lacked urgency and options and, and that created a spark, spark we expected. That's a really intelligence, actually, in terms of their play. Look, we never doubt the Japanese in terms of mentality. We would look at that performance today and say they were overly maybe casual, didn't give Costa Rica respect, but just had no clear vision in terms of how to break that Costa Rican uh, team down, just in basic understanding how you're going to draw them out position, kind of get runners in behind. They just kind of huffed and puffed the whole of the 90, 90 minutes. just wasn't good enough, really surprised me. Yeah, well, it's taken Costa Rica a total of 171 minutes at this World Cup to get a shot on target, <laughs> but significantly on target was in the back of the net as well. I know, we talked about those stats at half-time. No <laughs> shots, no corners, you know, anything at all. But uh, just found a bit of confidence, a little bit of belief. Look at the numbers they've thrown forward at this point of the game. I'm going to highlight Tejo in the lead-up to this central midfield player. He makes a great decision. Yoshida makes a big mistake. But look at him leave his man here, get on the front foot. This is absolutely crucial, wins the ball. Ito, the Japanese left-back, he doesn't sense the danger. He should be narrowing up. He panics, he tries to step up. It doesn't matter. And that's a really sweet finish from Fuller. I'm going to criticise the goalkeeper a little bit here. I think potentially he could take another step there and really propel himself uh, towards that ball. But Fuller had a good game defensively. He just found himself in that position. Why not? And a really calm finish, just kind of directed it into the top corner. Absolutely amazing, like you said, Peter. Four shot and target in the whole game. Yeah, it may be their only high point of this World Cup, Costa Rica, because they finish against Germany. And uh, if Germany get any bit of momentum going against Spain this evening, Costa Rica uh, could be suffering another defeat. Yeah, obviously Germany are looking to bounce back this evening against Spain. But look, mm. I think if Costa Rica take a lot of belief in that and how they defended, and obviously they changed their formation to, to that 5-4-1 and we'll highlight er, later the passion and the character they showed throughout the game. Um, they could, could give Germany a game, but I think they have... Germany have a little bit more for them than Japan had today. Well, they have their moment, regardless, regardless what they do against Germany, whether they qualify or whether they don't. They can look back with pride, and even the supporters will have some memories to take away from the, from the World Cup. That was a pretty amazing finish to the game. OK, well, the group isn't exactly turning out as uh, everybody would have expected, but uh, you could say that it's advantage Spain and Germany. Okay, coming off the back of a 7-0 victory, I suppose they had to try and win ugly. And that's what they did. They possibly didn't even expect to, to get the victory, possibly pay, playing for a draw because they were so defensive. Yeah, that's it, Peter. Obviously, they had a lot of discipline throughout, throughout their shape in that 5 4 1 formation. We talked about a lot of last ditch tackles and blocks, and that's Calvo there making um, one of the back three, making a, a block. And again, just really good defending. 
at this time it comes out and it's um, Girate and Watson who get the block in and, and they just worked really well as a team throughout the, the whole game and um, just frustrated Japan although I don't think they probably asked me as many questions as Spain did in the, in the previous game and um, this is just a switch of play and again it's Watson who's in there um, and he was a really big presence who, who came into the team today and then this one is again is, is coming back in and that's uh, Fuller just back after he'd, he'd um, scored his goal so it just goes to show the work rate of the team and this was a good passage of play by um, Japan and again it's Navas who's, who's second to it and there's plenty of bodies and around the ball and if they were tenacious in the defending. Yeah, yeah. Kenny, when you see those chances again, I mean, did, did we not give Japan enough credit for their second half performance and were they a little bit unlucky that they didn't break the deadlock? Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't good enough. First five, ten minutes of the second half, maybe moved the ball a little bit quip, uh, quicker. You, you got, got into some decent areas. You sense this might be, yeah, it really didn't uh, happen, fell into their usual habits. In the first half, I mean, you mentioned about kind of ugly defending there as you let their question into on you, but it's no such thing on you, is there? Ugly defending, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing when you see no, it. No, I mean, an ugly, I didn't say it. <laughs> no, in Japan, they'll absolutely be going back to their hotels, into their rooms, pulling the curtains, probably taking a few sleepers and just trying to flip out the whole thing. It's a really bad day for them, and they've literally handed. Uh, the Germans have get, uh, their get out of jail card in this group. Yeah, they really have. But let's look at a, a few of the chances that did come their way and some of those chances they may be ruining tonight. Yeah, it wasn't much though, Peter. It really wasn't. No. They really had to work for these kind of half chances. This is early in the uh, uh, second half on a bit of a stretch there. Uh, simple enough save for uh, Navas in the goal. Yeah, and it was just that everything was a little bit kind of rushed and panicky, Peter. Nothing too kind of structured in terms of what they're doing. Look, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's like a hit and hope, really, from 20, 25 yards, off balance. Got a little bit of width down this um, Soma, down the uh, left-hand side, drifted in his right, but again, it's panicky finish, isn't it? It's not in control, they're calm. This is kind of pretty typical, really. We've showed it already, but just kind of throwing bodies into the box, you know, s smashing shots on target, hoping maybe for a, a lucky ricochet. That was pretty much it. We didn't see that in the second half against Jeremy, played with a lot more confidence, a lot more accurate with their passing, good combination play, kind of had real rhythm to their attack and play against Germany, like total opposite uh, uh, this morning. Yeah, but I think, uh, I think we'd all agree that overall now in the group, uh, it has swung towards, well, well, Germany for starters, Spain look reasonably secure having seen all the other performances. Yeah, I think after results today, it's probably what we predicted before the tournament kicked yeah, off, yeah, that would be yeah. Spain and Germany through to the next round. Yeah. Okay, well, we can press the delete